Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use the paste special command. You may already be familiar with copy and paste. Basically, maybe you're taking a cell or a range of this cells. Let's go with this example. And we'll click copy, or you can also use con control C to copy, which you, if you hover over here, you'll see it shows you control C. And then you just go into another cell and either click the paste command here, the icon here, or just control V. I'm going to use control V. So basically, you may already be familiar with that, with that, but there are a host of other kind of paste commands. So if I copied something and I go under paste here and go under paste special, we're going to see this menu, which I enlarged over here. But we'll see this menu here where you have a bunch of different paste features. And I'll go through each of them one by one. So let's go ahead and try the first one. So basically when you do a copy and paste um, and just do a regular copy and paste that's basically this paste all so if I just deleted this let me go ahead and delete this clear all and I copy everything here and then I go into the cell and I do a paste special and I just click OK because that's the default I select it it's just going to copy this stuff here well what, what if I wanted to find out what the formulas are so I have formulas here so this is a formula and this is a formula that basically says if B2, this number, is greater than 300, then I want to multiply this commission by 8%. Otherwise, if it's not greater than 300, I'm going to multiply it by 5%, B2 times 0.05. Now let's say I want to copy that formula over here. Well, I can just use the paste special. If you just want to copy the formula into something, let me go ahead and just put a name here. Let's, let's put this person as Alice. And let's say Alice made sales of $200. So let's say that I want to calculate that commission. I don't want to write this formula over again. I want to put the formula here. All I need to do is just select that cell and just click on copy or control C to copy and go under paste, paste special, and I'm going to click formulas. So it's going to put the formula in there. Whoops. Let me go control Z to undo. So what I want to do is I want to select the cell where the formula is and click copy and then go to the cell where I want to copy the formula to go and click on paste paste special and then just select the formulas radio button click OK and you'll notice now the formula has been copied into cell I2 I'm in cell I2 and it's copied that formula so the reason why I kinda knew which to select H2 is if I go back in here let me go and press escape if I go back in here you can see that it's it looks to B2 which is to the left of it and B2 over here and when you copy it over here Excel is actually smart enough to figure out okay I'm gonna look for the cell to the left of it which is H H2 here so that's formulas what about values let's say I only want to copy the values I don't want to copy any of the formulas or any of the formatting or any of the other formulas what I can do let me just take a, a sample of this table if I want to copy just these values here 285, 1425, $20, $319, $25 I can just select that cell, press, click on copy, go to the target cells, and click on paste, paste special, and adjust the values. So it's not going to copy any of the formatting, like this is bold, it's not going to copy any of the formulas, it's, it's just going to copy the values right here, see? So these dollar signs there are also the format. So if you wanted to copy the values, it's going to strip away the dollar sign. Right, so let me go ahead and just delete that. So that was values. What about formats? So let's say that I wanted to copy formatting here. So this is a bold. Let me go ahead and let's say I'm gonna say this is ten dollars, right? And let's say you had this is a simple example. I only have one 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 cell here, but let's say you had a bunch of cells you want to copy it to. And instead of just bold, this was bold. It had a different font style, had a different uh, font size, and had all these different formatting. So if I wanted to copy just the formatting, I would just click on copy and go to my target cell and go under paste. And I will select the format. You'll notice that there's these icons that also tell you which one it is. So you can just kind of hover over it and figure out which one you want to do. So in, in this case, you know, I would generally choose the format but if I kinda just hover over here 
I can see that I can try to find the format, which is, I believe it's, uh, let me see. Let's go and try to find it. Which one is it? That's paste, values, 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 and that's formatting. So that's going to be that one. So once I click on that, you'll notice that it not only bolded it, but the other formatting was this accounting format. So it actually gave that accounting format, and you notice that these cells are, they have a border on it. So it also copied that border. You can, and you can see none of these have a border. So I'll go ahead and show you the borders later on, but let's go ahead and go down the line here. So let's say we want to copy comments. So I'll have a comment over here. Ling is on a three month trial. So I just, if I select on that and click copy, I can actually go over here to my target cell and just click on comments. It's one of these here, but I'm just going to go into the window, make it easier. So I've click comments. It's only going to copy that comment. So I click OK. You'll notice now it's got that little comment icon there. As I hover over it, it shows you the comment there. So when you insert a comment somewhere, you can actually just copy comments over. So now let's go to validation. I've uh, created this cell here. I've created some validation in the cell here. So what validation basically means is when you enter in a number, it's going to validate if it fits some kind of criteria. So the validation commands are under, I believe it's uh, data. So data validation, if I, I hover over this cell, I'm just gonna do one cell here, but I did it over the other cells here. And I go into data validation and I click on that. The data validation here for this cell is, it has to be a whole number between zero and 20. Okay, if it's if it deviates from zero to twenty, like if it's minus one or if it's twenty-one or twenty and or if it's twenty-one and over, it's going to give this error message: use only amount between zero and twenty. Okay, so you notice that it'll work here if I pressed if I type in twenty-five, press enter, you'll see that I get an error here. I'm going to cancel that. So I don't have anything here like that. There is no data validation there. So if I click data validation, you'll notice that it's empty. Now let's say I don't want to write that whole thing over again. All I can, all, what I can do here is just select the cell, go back to my home tab, click copy, go to my target cell, and I just want to copy the validation. So if I click here, the validation is set now. And if I try to type 21, now the error comes up. So that's validation. So that if you've done any validation and you want to just copy over the validation, just click on that button. Now using the source theme, that basically says, let me use the, let's say that I decide to make that uh, no fill, right? And I want to copy the source theme. So if I want to copy where it has purple background and a white text, I just click copy. And that, if that's all I wanted to copy, I can just select there and go and click paste and just use a source theme. It's going to copy that. Now you can see that it's really not that much of a difference, but let's say that um, because what happens is uh, it basically just copy the colors. Now it didn't really copy any of the, the cell width formatting. And so I can show you later on an example of how to copy the width. So let's get to our next example, copying all except borders. So let's say for example, I wanted to copy all everything here. Let me just copy maybe just three of them, three records here. And I didn't want the borders. I just wanted to copy everything else, but I didn't want the borders. Maybe it's too too jarring, too too bold. So I'm just going to click copy, go down here, and go ahead and click paste, paste special, and everything except the borders. I don't need this border, so I'll click OK. So what you did, what it's done, it's copied everything without the borders. So that's just another option there that's available. Let me select that. Right click, delete. I don't need that one. So the next one is column widths. So let's take for example, I've copied my values already here with the formatting, but since it's copied just that, it hasn't copied the width of the columns. I've kind of adjusted the width of the columns here, and I want to show the same there. So that's what I can do with that, with that particular selection. I can select here, go to copy, go to my target cell, and then go to paste, paste special, and all I want to do is just copy the column widths. They're not the same, they're different right here. So if I click OK, you'll notice that it's spread it out. So instead of individually adjusting the column links, you can copy just the column links from your source. So the other one here is formulas and number formats. So let's say, for example, I just wanted to copy the formulas and the formatting and nothing else. I didn't want to copy the borders. I didn't want to copy things like that nature. I can just go Control-C or just copy here 
and then go into my target cell and then I'm just going to copy formulas and number formats right so it's going to copy just the formula and number format so it's got my it's got my number formats which is the accounting but it didn't copy the other formats like the back background and the text formats so that's all it did so let me go ahead and delete that so that's what that particular selection does now let's say we want to do just the values and number formats so what it's going to do is it's not going to copy the formulas but it will copy the number formatting the accounting the dollar sign so let me go ahead and just select here just I'm gonna go up to and copy and then go to my target cell and then go to paste special and we go to values and number formats that's all it's gonna copy it's not gonna copy anything with text formatting it will copy just the values you can see that the formulas have disappeared but the number formatting the dollar sign the accounting dollar sign has stayed there so that's that one all right let me go ahead and delete this here so what about this merging conditional formatting? So I've got some conditional formatting here in this particular column. So if I go under the conditional formatting, go under manage rules, you'll notice that it says in cells E2 to E10, E2 to E10, if the cell value is over $500, color the background green. So I'll click OK here. So if I just wanted to copy the conditional formatting, I can just select one of those cells. Let's say I want to copy it over here. I'll select that cell, copy, and go into this cell and click Paste Special, the conditional formatting now. So in addition to the merging, it's also actually copied the, the formula. So the formula is adding the sales plus the commission and the bonus. And also it's going to do some condition, conditional formatting. So if we say, let's just pretend this is uh, 500 already click return now you see it looked at that particular total cell and in the conditional formatting if I go here you see this this rule here so it's gonna say it applies to K2 which is this one if it's over 500 make it green so that's what that this one particularly does now we also have these other operations of uh, adding subtracting no multiplying dividing so what does that do so let's say for example you wanted to say that you know this bonus well maybe we should actually add one let me go ahead and take off the let me go ahead and take off the data validation here first uh, let's see let me go under data data validation let's go and clear all we'll take we'll get rid of it for this to work so what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say let's say we want to let's say the bonus we want to add a dollar to the, each of bonus so I can go under each one I mean I can just basically type 21 and copy and paste or I can just type one here right and then just copy it and then I want to add one dollar to all of this all right so I'll go to paste paste special and I'm just going to add one. So it's going to add one to everything. So this is going to be 21. That's going to be 11. That's going to be 21. So I click that. It's done that. So what it's done here is it hasn't, it hasn't kept any of the formatting. Let's go ahead and undo that. So the reason why I did that is we basically said paste everything here. So this didn't have any number formatting. Let's go ahead and just paste it as a value. So I'm going to go ahead. This is select it, copy. And let's, oops, no. Let's go here. Copy. And then we're going to select this, go to Paste Special, and we want to have, we're going to add one, but we also just want to paste that value, all right? Click OK, OK, so we just pasted the value, we're pasting the value to it, so the number formatting stays, stays the same. We're not pasting the number formatting, which it doesn't have any, we're pasting just the number one in itself. So it kept, it kept the, the formatting there. We can also subtract. Let's say that we don't want one here. So we just do a copy and we select our cells here and we're just going to select that. We want just the value and we're going to subtract one. And that's going to take everything back to normal. We subtracted one from everything. So that's what that does. We can also do multiply and divide. Let's say that uh, we decided that, you know, there, the bonus should be added. There should be a 10%. So let's say that we make this point ten percent increase right one point one right it's gonna be ten percent increase one hundred plus point ten 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to increase this 10%. I'm going to go and select that copy, go over here, and then click paste, paste special, and multiply that. So it's going to increase everything by 10%. So basically 10% of 20 is going to be, it's going to be 20 times 10%, which is $2. So it's going to be $22 here, right? And then 10 is basically going to be 10 times 10, 10 times 10% is a buck, so this is gonna be $11. So I click OK, and you can see that it's, well, I've done it again where I am just pasting everything, not just the value. So I'm gonna do, let me do a undo here, and copy this, and go under Paste Special. We just want the values, and we want to multiply by that value, 1.1. Click OK. Whoops, I forgot to select my target cell. Let me go ahead and undo that. All right, so I'm gonna select this, copy, select this, Go to paste, paste special, just a value, and multiply. Click OK, and now that's $22, these are $11. So you kind of get the gist of it. Divide's going to be very sim similar, so let's say that I want to divide this. I'm going to go ahead and maybe I want to divide this by, by 2, or something like that. So I'll go ahead and say, let's divide it by 1, well, let's go divide it back by 1 by 1, 1.1. 1 .1. So I'm going to select copy, and then Wait, let me select copy and then go to here, select my target cells, paste, paste special, and then I'm just going to do the values and divide by 1.1. Right, and I go back to normal here. Now that's the, that's the mathematical operations. We can also do some other, op other options here for paste special, skipping blanks. So let me show you what skip blank does. Let me go and just delete. Let me go and just delete that. So what skip blank does is, let's say that we want to copy everything here and paste it over here, but we're, we don't want to copy anything in any blank cells. So if there's formatting the black, blank cells, it will not copy this gray and also the borders. I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control C to copy, and go into the my target cell here and go to paste, paste special, and click skip blanks. So what it's going to do, it's going to copy everything here, but this blank, there's nothing in here, but there's formatting, so it's going to skip that. So I'll click, click OK, and if I scroll down here, you'll see that it did not copy anything from there. It didn't copy the gray, it didn't copy the borders. So that's what skip blank does. What about transpose? Let me go ahead and delete this here. Transpose is a pretty fan, neat function. So what it does is, let's say I want to copy this cell, and but instead of copying it horizontally, I want to copy, instead of copy it vertically, like have it go from 15, 16, 17, I want to have it copy across. So if I, I, I can do that by transposing it. So I can click on copy, go to my target cell, go to paste, and go either go to paste special, but there's an easy icon here. I think it's uh, transpose this one. So this is the same as that one there. So if I click on that, it's going to transpose it name and then it goes all the way across with the different names. So that is actually a pretty handy function there too. Now what about paste link? Well, let me go ahead and delete this. Paste link basically paste a link to a cell. So it's very really, it's the equivalent of going equal and I'm going to select that cell, right? So whenever that cell changes, let me go ahead and go into formula and just go calculate now. When that cell changes, you can see it changes here. So Instead of doing that, instead of just printing equal, you can also just select the cell and go to home, go to copy, and then I'm going to select my target cell and I just go to paste special and I just want to paste a link there. So you can see what it does is it's put a link to that particular cell. So whenever that cell changes, let me go ahead and go to calculate this field. These are, this is a, this is, there's a formula in here that creates a random number between 100 and 500 and so that's why you see it change all the time but that you can do that and you can have it changed by recalculating so if I click click I'll go to formulas and go to calculate now you'll see that this number changes because it's referencing e3 and it, that's because I did this paste link so you can you can see that there are a lot of different options using paste special so I hope this helps thanks for watching